Alrighty, hello again. Um, so today I want to talk about comparison um, and comparing yourself to others. So I was watching it or I was listening to a Tony Robbins podcast where he was mentioning that he had interviewed uh, Michael Jordan um, back in the day a little bit. And he was asking him, you know, all right, Michael, what makes you the best basketball player in the world? You know, what is it that makes you so dominant? What is it that makes you so incredible? Um, and the main takeaway that I got from that was that he compares himself to himself. Um, he's not, you know, a lot of us have the tendency to compare yourself to others. It's a very natural, um, kind of instinctual thing to compare yourself to your peers, to uh, people that are close to you, your family, your friends, uh, your coworkers. It's you're comparing yourself almost all like a, constantly, basically. Um, it's it's a very natural thing to do that. But I think that the people that um, who set themselves apart and become someone like Michael Jordan, someone who's you know the greatest in the world at something, is they're they're always working on themselves and they're comparing to themselves. And so when you do that, you are always going to be growing. If you're comparing yourself to others who are average or who aren't growing, then you're always going to be better. It's like you, you don't have to do anything and okay, now you're better. Um, whereas if you compare yourself to, to the person you were yesterday, you can always say and always think and always do, you know, am I better today? Have I progressed today? What have I done differently today to make me a better person or a stronger person? Um, if you if you compare yourself to yourself, then there's always room to grow. If you're comparing yourself to somebody else, then maybe they grow, maybe they don't, and chances are they won't, because uh, a lot of people that you see in this world are very average. That's what make that's why there is an average, is because most people are average. That's that's the how averages work. A majority of people are average. That's what an average is. And so when you compare yourself to a majority of people that's dangerous because now you're thinking, you're comparing yourself to someone who's not doing much, who's not um, challenging themselves and not growing. So if you compare yourself to yourself, you can always, always, always have room for growth. And I think that every day you should be growing. Every day you should be changing something, tweaking things. Little little details should be different. You know, you should be, there should be minute changes or even massive changes um, from day to day. So you should be growing. You should be a different, a slightly different, better person today than you were yesterday. Um, I think that's kind of, I watched the, I used to watch this guy named John Hill <coughs> on, uh, on YouTube. He's a, he's a skateboarder guy and his main motto was progress daily. And if you always do that, if you're, if you're constantly progressing every single day, then there is no, there's no limit. It's like you can, you can kind of go anywhere. Um, and so I think that's kind of the main message is don't compare yourself to anybody else besides yourself, because that's how you um, become the best. That's how you, that's just how that works. And so, um, <clears throat> that's my main message. I think a uh, quick little video. I kind of got to, I kind of got to run and get out of here. But, um, so don't, don't compare yourself to average people. Or if you, if you do compare yourself to people, it, it's not the end of the world. It's, it's actually smart sometimes to use people as references. Um, uh, but make sure you're comparing yourself to the right people when you do it. And it's not like you, you can never, ever compare yourself to people. Um, Sorry, um, it's, it actually can be good to compare yourself to others sometimes. Um, what I'm saying is that don't compare yourself to the wrong people. Don't compare yourself to average people. Um, you can certainly use people as, as references. Think, you know, okay, I've surpassed where he was. Now I'm now I'm better than than this. I'm I'm doing something differently than I was. Um, or if you're looking at someone like Tony Robbins, for example, he's a great great inspiration and he's a great motivator so use him as a as a reference maybe but the point is to not to not compare yourself to people who are below you um so you should be growing and progressing every day i think is the main message so anyway i gotta get out of here that's my video Bye bye